weather for oh, it, too. Oh, we had great weather. Gosh, Did you make it, it out there? No, I wasn't able oh. to. I went with my parents to the mountains instead, which was beautiful yeah. as well. I think we ate enough Did for you? I think all so three too. of us, oh, right? Yeah, we had too many fried... You went this flies. weekend. Yeah, it went Sunday. Mm -hmm. It was perfect yeah. for that. Great weather. I mean, we only had that one day that yeah, kind of, but exactly. every other day was perfect. I went last Can't Wednesday, mm -hmm. and then we uh, got out of town, went up to the mountains, nice. and I know this time of year I show you a lot of your fall foliage pictures that you send in. Well, darn it, I'm going to show my own pictures this time. So we got on the Blue Ridge Parkway up in the mountains about uh, Balsam Pass, and then we took it to just south of Asheville, stayed on for about an hour and a half. There was good traffic. I mean, a lot of people are out there because the colors are peaking. There was a shot about 4,600 feet. There's 3,800 feet. Love this. Just driving down the road, you know, you go through about five or six tunnels and the colors on the sides. Again, they're right at their peak level, so you got to go now or they're all going to be on the ground by the time you get there. There's the big ridge overlook, about 3,800 feet. And you notice the completely blue sky. I mean, there was not a cloud to be found across the state yesterday. I drove most of it, so I can attest to that. And here are some uh, live colors from uh, the Biltmore up in Asheville. Things, again, starting to turn more bright brownish and orangish than those yellows and reds. So the colors are peaking up there where it's 75 degrees. Very warm for this time of year. Same deal down in Charlotte. The buildings don't change color down there, but blue sky and 80 degrees in the Queen City. Here at home at RU Airport, it's 77 degrees. Again, very warm for this time of year, even along the coast as the sun gets ready to set there in Wilmington. As we look live through our weather bug camera, it is 77 degrees. So going into tonight and tomorrow, we've got a dry cold front coming through. That is going to drop our temperature from today to tomorrow by about 15 degrees. So make sure you're ready for that change. No rain with it, no cloud cover, cooling quickly down to 65 degrees by 8 o'clock tonight. 53 at midnight, 44 degrees is how your Tuesday morning will start. There's the cold front. Again, it's to our north. It'll move through overnight, not with any cloud cover, no rain with it, but boy, does it have some cooler temperatures and another area of high pressure. So while Tuesday and Wednesday will be much cooler, it's also going to be very sunny outside. And then later this week, really the only interesting thing in our near and long term is a warm front, an area of low pressure, and a cold front. They're all very weak. And they're all going to just kind of skim by. They're not going to, the, the heart, the meat of the system isn't going to come through our area. So we just have a few clouds and maybe an evening shower on Thursday. And then maybe a little bit of leftover rain Friday as the system comes through and moves out. But then there's another area of high pressure behind it. And that'll give us another dry weekend for this upcoming Saturday and Sunday, which is the last few days of October. So there's a frontal system coming through later this week, but it's not going to do much rain or temperature wise. The one coming through tonight will change our temperatures. And as you can see, we look at the forecast in Fayetteville tomorrow. It'll be sunny, but not near 80 like it was today, a high of 67 degrees. We'll go 65 here in the triangle. We'll keep it there on Wednesday too, as morning temperatures the rest of this week stay in the 40s. There's our small chance of rain Thursday, a little bit of leftover rain Friday. That's about it for rain chances on the seven day. You see, we get into the weekend with dry weather temperatures on either side of 70 Saturday and Sunday. And for Halloween, guys, 66 degrees. Our three degree guarantee high tomorrow in the 60s, much cooler than today's high of 78. We were right within our three degree guarantee. So another $100 from us and our friends at Alan Kelly Heating there for the Tammy Lynn Center for Developmental Disabilities. I got to visit with a family who's been using their services for years and years. Just some great people out there who sometimes need some help. The Tammy Lynn Center does that. We're going to share their story later this week. Can't All wait right. to see it. Yeah, look forward to that. Thank you, Wes.